Hi friends, guess what? Today, we are checking out another one of Ariat's most popular boots, the Ariat Heritage Roper. Let's get into it. Old boots got soul, and I carry on this way and we get better. Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig, and quick note before I start, this video is also sponsored by Ariat, but it's in my contract not to let that sponsorship affect my opinion or review of these Ariat Heritage Ropers, but it's still something that you should know. Here we go. The Heritage Roper is a really popular boot, and it's just so simple and understated. It's just, this is the kind of boot that you just go kicking around in and really just by looking at it i think it's a better value than the rambler but we'll get into it and see how it goes you guys know what's next let's get into the rundown these ariat heritage roper boots are full grain leather on the foot and the shaft and this is their distressed brown color. All in all, they stand at 10 inches tall, so pretty standard for a roper. Speaking of standard for a roper, we also have a round toe. A little bit more round than the medium round, and a lot of people just call this a roper toe. But it's a great look and pretty standard when it comes to roper boots. For an outsole, we have the Duratread rubber outsole all the way through here, and for a heel cap as well. And it looks like that Duratread material does come down to the heel. This is a one and three eighths inch heel, which is a little bit taller than what ropers usually have. Ropers usually are around one inch. This is a little bit more than that. Not much though. You also have a little bit of a spur ridge back here, a little spur shelf, in case you need that for your boots. A lot of ropers don't have this much of a spur shelf, so this is a working boot if you need it to be. On the inside, we have a leather-lined shaft, but then around the foot, it is lined with cloth. So on the website, it does say that they are leather-lined. Just know that that's only the shaft here, not the foot. So the foot is gonna be a little bit warmer. And then for an insole, we have their ATS Pro. The ATS Pro is one of Ariat's top insoles. It's got some good foam in here, some good support, and maybe a little bit of gel at the heel. The heel does feel really nice. My second favorite Ariat insole, I like this just a little bit less than the 4LRs that are made in Mexico. Still a great insole here to have in this boot. I chose the size 11 and a half B for this Heritage Roper and my true size is 12B. I usually have to size down to fit into an area, sometimes a half size, sometimes a full size, as you guys remember with that area sport video that I did recently. It's a huge value that Ariat offers narrow widths in this boot. They're one of the few cowboy boot companies out there that are offering narrow widths in their mass-produced boots, and it's huge. They also have this boot in D width and double E width for the guys out there. This is just a real simple, understated boot. There's no toe stitching here. There's very little stitching on the shaft except up by the crown of the boot. So they kept it simple here and it shows in the price point as well. They're coming in at around $150. All right, I think that completes the rundown. Let's try this boot on and see how it looks and feels. You gotta love a good fitting boot, all right? And one of the things when you try on a cowboy boot that you wanna see is a tight, snug instep. Not so snug that it's hurting, but as you can see here, you kinda got a little bit of lighter color, which means there's pressure on the leather underneath there where my instep is hitting the boot and that is the hinge point of a cowboy boot. You need to have a snug instep in order to have the correct fit and to have the most comfortable boot possible. So you don't want it to hurt. Like if it's white knuckling out of there, you're gonna wanna get a bigger size, but this is a perfect fit. This feels great. It's gonna break in really, really well. All right, it's a great look, really simple and it feels good with the ATS insole in there. The arch support 
feels great. I haven't tried an ATS Pro on an 11 and a half B from Ariat before. I've always tried it on like a 10 and a half D because they make so few B widths, still more than a lot of other companies do. But the ATS Pro feels really, really nice here. Good arch support, good heel cushion. Not too much though, like you're wobbling around too much. I am not a huge fan of gels and things like that just because I feel like it gives my joints more problems because I need a secure, firm place to put my foot. This is just some nice cushioning, sort of like you're walking on moss barefoot. Really nice, except not as wet or dirty as that. <laughs> Here's what it looks like POV. So pretty normal, doesn't really stand out as anything super special there. There's no stitching on the toe. So uh, it's just sort of a normal look. And there's nothing wrong with a normal look, not at all. It's not too stiff like what we saw with the Rambler. The Rambler is actually a little bit more expensive than this Roper. And really, my first impression is that this is a much better value, a much better boot than what you are getting with the Ariat Rambler. This Heritage Roper, I feel, is really nice for the price. But there's only one way to find out for sure. Let's give this boot an extended test. All right, so I'm home this week and growing up, we kept the cabin warm with coal. So I'm gonna help my dad get some coal. This is the coal house, we gotta fill it up. And of course, I'm gonna be wearing these Ariat Heritage Ropers the whole time. Bills. Woo. Years worth of coal. Two tons of coal. That's going to keep the house warm <laughs> for a while. All winter long. That's what I'm talking about. Since we finished the coal so fast, I think it's worthwhile to see what else I can do in these Ariat Heritage Ropers. There's this tree that's fallen down here on the property. I think I'm gonna chop it up with the Husky. Let's see how we do. Success, ha <laughs> ha. Only about half of it is good enough to burn. And since we use coal inside the house, the wood will be for like bonfires or small fires outside. So 
I'll only keep half of this. Maybe put the other on like this big burning pile over here because it's wet and rotten down towards the roots. So at least we got something out of it and it's cleaned up, right? Well, we got the coal, we got the wood. I'd say we're ready for winter. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so the Ariat Heritage Roper cleaned up really nice with some saddle soap. I was able to get all the mud and the coal dust off and then I put some leather conditioner on it and finish it off with some snowproof, weatherproofing stuff that I like to use, especially on boots that I know I'm gonna be using all winter. And I gotta be honest, this is a very simple boot, but I like it more than several other of the Ariats that I've tried this year. I started out this year trying the Ariat Rambler, and this is very similar to that. Pretty much in the same price range, except this comes in at about $10 cheaper than what the Rambler is. One, this looks a lot better than the Rambler. I think the Rambler is kind of ugly, to be honest. And two, its leather is not as stiff. Now, it will take a little bit of time to break in. This was pretty stiff when I started to wear it, but not nearly as stiff as the Rambler was. And three, they're making bee widths for this area Heritage Roper. And I think that is a huge value because a lot of people can't find the right sizes for them and they have to size down and then it's all uncomfortable and stuff and it's just not ideal. Having bee widths is ideal. So this 11 and a half B fit me very, very well. Much better than the Ariat Sport 11 and a half D, which if you haven't seen that video yet, you can check it out above. But I really like the fit of this and I feel like it's just a really good all around boot that you can throw on and do whatever you need to do, whether it's shoveling coal, walking in the snow, cutting up a tree, like whatever you need to do, this boot can handle it. Plus, number four, it has a better insole than what the Rambler does. This is the ATS Pro. The Rambler, if I'm remembering correctly, only comes with the ATS. So I like the ATS Pro much better than the ATS. I don't like it as much as the 4LR insoles that are coming out of Mexico right now in the area circuit line, but I'd have to say that it's my second favorite area insole and it does a great job in this boot. So for $150, I feel like you're getting a good boot for that price. Now they do cut a lot of corners. This isn't a leather stacked heel. I always like to see leather stacked heels because they're just better. They last longer, they're easier to repair. It's just more traditional. It's proven, right? This is not leather stacked and uh, I'm not a big fan of these kinds of heels. Also, around the foot, it is cloth lined. So if this ends up being one of those boots that you put on to do a bunch of different things, it could eventually tear and end up being kind of uncomfortable. Leather lining doesn't do that as much, but if you get a leather lined boot and a leather stacked heel, usually that means you're gonna be spending around 200 to $250 at least. And this one comes in at only $150. So I gotta say that it all depends on what you're looking for, what's in your budget range, so for $150, I feel like this is a really good boot and I would highly recommend this one over the Ariat Rambler, which comes in at around the same area, but you're getting much more in this Ariat Heritage Roper than what you do in the Rambler, in my humble opinion. All in all, you're not getting everything that I like to see in a boot, but you are getting a lower price. At $150, I feel like the value is here, and that is why this is one of my favorite Ariats this year. 
But let me know what you think of the Area Heritage Ropers down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching today. Don't forget to subscribe while you're here. And a huge thanks to Ariat for sponsoring this video. Their sponsorships this year has really helped me grow this channel much more than what I would have imagined at the beginning of the year. So huge thanks to Ariat. I'll see you next time. Peace, everybody. It's a simple boot with a simple value. Wear it to ruin anything and see how it fails with it. It hits the marks that the Rambler didn't, and that's why this is one of my favorite areas. Yes, thank you so much for watching today. Don't forget to subscribe while you're here. Huge thanks to Harriet for sponsoring this video. I'll see you next time. Peace. Have a good one.